peace infinite waters diving deep once again i can't take this any longer don't worry you don't have to can i get a hello there things setbacks due to your body and mind disappointments Sometimes you're ready to go and you just get stopped in your tracks. What are we gonna do about it? Sometimes you just wanna scream out loud, but it doesn't always work. Along my journey, I've dealt with a lot of setbacks. What's helped me? What's helped me stay calm in the storm? I say that you have to look at what setbacks do to you first before you can find out ways how to overcome it, overcome them, to rise above it. So as soon as we get a setback, sometimes the parcel doesn't come in the post, your relationship is going through trials and tribulations, you get fired from your job, someone calls you a name, you don't get it when you want it. Living in this 24 seven society of instant gratification, we want it right now but what happens if it doesn't come? Some people say, I'm shocked. Let's look at that word, shocked. So in essence, our body goes into shock. With a lot of setbacks and disappointments, we have that anxiety within us. We have that panic within us. We have that shock within us. What's happening? we are becoming a vibrational match to that experience, to that event. Happened to me along my journey. When I was supposed to be receiving something in the post, it didn't come. And I was waiting, I was waiting, I was waiting. Just like the parcel. It was delayed, I was delayed. It's what I call the big freeze. We step into a state of paralysis because we are analyzing. Analysis is paralysis. So setbacks often keep us away from the radical action. That is where we find our greatest power. What happens if you are injured? I've been injured before and it's a setback because we've got things to do. I say, whenever you get a setback, it's all about how you perceive it. What is the universe trying to teach you here? What lesson can be learned? Because I say that all setbacks will test your patience. It's almost as if the universe is trying to see if we are who we say we are. I had a great guitar teacher who said, once you see the complexity of what you think is simple, then you will see the simplicity of what you think is complex. The hardest thing in the world is simplicity. And many of our lifestyles have become so complex, therefore setbacks are inevitable. Setbacks <laughs> help us to slow down. I am thankful for certain setbacks I've had because if I had just acted Oh, I would have been sorry. So for me, I always see what positives can I draw from the setbacks. Because whenever we feel hopeless, like victims, like something is happening to us, we forget our true power that we can imprint our intention on the universe on everything around us. For me, I've seen that setbacks can help us put things in perspective. 
At the same time, let's get real about it. Sometimes it is frustrating. It can make us scream. And that's what is wonderful to do, to release that energy, to be annoyed about it, to not suppress our emotions. But after that, for me, it's all about working towards solutions. What other alternatives are there? Because whenever you are focusing on problems, you'll have more problems. When you focus on possibilities, you'll have more opportunities. Now, as soon as I start talking about setbacks, I'm probably gonna get a lot of setbacks. That's usually what happens, but I'm okay with it. For me, every day I'm working on myself to develop more balance. More challenges are continually gonna happen. It's gonna continue, it's gonna go on. Because we're not living in a perfect world, we're living in a perfect earth. And therefore, I'm always looking at my lifestyle conditions. Because a lot of us, we are a vibrational match to setbacks and disappointments. Why? Because we are expecting so much. Why? Why? Why are we expecting so much? Because we want it right now. And I've seen that there are signs to look out for. There are seasons to look out for more so. Everything has a time. And sometimes I look at the universe as this mathematician, so advanced. And everything comes to us at the right time, if we can only let go. And also, I look at the ways in which I am making my life more simple. Because when we have a setback, it frustrates us because now we are seeing the realization that control is an illusion. <laughs> you don't have any control over an external event. You only have control over your internal conditions. And that is the secret of alchemy, making the best out of the worst and not allowing external events to govern your internal condition. So every time I deal with a setback, I take some time just to realize what is most important. Is this setback really a setback? Oh, listen here. What I found out is that when you get a setback, you have to step forward. <laughs> because that is the only way to arrive where you were before. Because once you get a setback, it can lower our vibration. If we are ruminating on what's happened, it keeps us in the past. So when you step forward, you now align yourself to the present moment and the power is in the now. Have fun and don't forget to smile. We're here, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace.